I'm, it is so early right now, and I'm still not on Paris time, so I didn't sleep well at all last night. I have my first class this morning, so I'm walking through my neighborhood right now. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning uh, to get to my class, so I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of how I get there. Um, don't think I'll show you the metro, though, because that's a little dangerous. We have the street. There's these little apartment buildings everywhere. I live in one like that. And that's Monopoly. <laughs> that's the store. It's a clothing store on top and a grocery store on the bottom. <laughs> and the sign is not lit up right now, but across from the metro is a KFC. <laughs> That's the metro, that's where we're going. There's the KFC. <laughs> see what's out here. Nothing spectacular, but nothing terrible either. Nice little back street. I think that's a preschool or something, because there were a lot of kids out there before. This is where I live now. <laughs> I wish the water filter would shut up because it's going to make this blog kind of strange if there's just a continuous dripping noise in the background. Either I haven't figured out how European Brita filters work or it just goes very, very slowly because it's like one continuous drip. Anyway, um, I've done a little bit of shopping since I've gotten to Paris. Um, not as much as you'd expect the normal person to. I'm just really not a souvenir kind of person in general, but um, in France, things only really go on sale twice a year, January and uh, June, so I uh, had to take advantage of it a little bit before it goes away. So I got this sweater so far, because it's like super cold in Paris and I needed it. It was pretty expensive, but you know, you got to get at least one nice thing while you're here. And, of course, then after I got it, I went next door to H&M and found out that things were actually cheaper there. So, it was kind of a bad move on my part. But anyway, the other, the only other shopping I've done has been practical shopping. So, I went to Monoprix, which I wish I could have gone inside and showed you because it's so cool. Because there's, like, there's clothes on one floor and then there's, like, fish downstairs. It's the most bizarre thing ever. Um, but anyway, um, of course, because I've been walking around every day in this terrible cold water weather, I'm sick, so I got a ton of tissues. Um, they, the, the little travel packs here are actually smaller than they are in America. I wish they were this small and squarish over there. there was, they actually had a bigger pack there too, so if for some reason I run out or if anybody back home wants really small tissues, I <laughs> guess I could get more. 
Um, let's see what else did I get. I got a little thing of Q-tips because they were really small and compact and travel size. Figured in case I need those, you know, I don't want to have to go again. And got washcloths because they don't really have a concept of washcloths in Europe. They're never in hotels. My host mother didn't seem to know what they were. Even these aren't real washcloths. They're like, um, they're, they're wash gloves. Like you put your hand inside and so you have two and I guess you're supposed to like, I guess they're for your whole body, but <laughs> I'm going to use it for my face. And then, of course, I couldn't, you know, get out of a French food market without trying some chocolate. So, I got this. Um, I think it's just milk chocolate with some kind of nut. Uh, I'm not sure what kind, because I can't think right now and I can't translate that. Um, but that looked good. There was also dark chocolate with almonds, but I decided I was more in the mood for this. And it's pretty thick, as you can see, so. Oh, hazelnuts. Duh. Anyway, um, so this should last me a while, and then after that I guess I'll try another snack. Maybe I can sneak my camera in and show you guys what they have over here. Uh, they do have Pringles, strangely. Um, the ones that I saw were still Christmas packages, so it was like, it had a Pringle on the front. Not the Pringle guy, a Pringle with a red, like, Rudolph nose and antlers on it. It was the most bizarre thing. And then they just have, um, I don't know, like like biscuits, like not cookies, like American cookies, like the the bland, like ginger snap or less flavorful kind. So I didn't really want to get those um, pretzels. They had tacos. I was really surprised they have tacos over here. There were taco mix and there was like Tostitos, but I don't really like those by themselves. So I don't know what I'm going to get next time. So give me some suggestions. And um, I think that's probably it for now. I don't think I'll have anything else interesting to show you guys. So I'm going to say goodbye until the next vlog, whenever that is, whenever I find something else interesting or at least amusing to show you all. So, bye!